Hey Pisces, welcome to your July what the fuck recap reading. This is going to be a reading for Pisces sun, moon, and rising and other placements. By the time you're listening to this Pisces, it is August, but there were so many things that took place in July, such a lot of intense energy that I wanted to still go back and um, for those of who, those of you who are interested, I wanted to provide some clarity in retrospection looking back on July. So I'm going to do that in this video. Whenever you find this, you never know, there may be a message here for you. Okay, so thank you for clicking on my video and listening. So July, uh, for the mo majority of July, it was cancer season, which is a water sign like you, Pisces, except for cancer is cardinal and has a little bit of a different way of protecting themselves. But there is harmonious flow and positivity between cancer and Pisces as water signs. Sister signs is what we call it in astrology. So in some ways, I feel um, with the two fish that represent Pisces, July gave you water to swim in again. Um, but on the other hand, there was a lot of overwhelming, like drowning sensations as well. So the pros and the cons, right? Um, kind of hard to drown a fish, but it is possible. Um, the full moon in Capricorn was also quite pivotal. That's another zodiac sign that positively aspects Pisces, a little bit of a sextile there. So not all bad, but just looking back, a lot of stuff going on. Um, and now we're in Leo season, which is a bit more of a shift towards positivity and authenticity clarity romance um, for you Pisces it's your sixth house so cancer was your fifth house of romance there was a new moon there so there'll be new intentions set, setting there over the next six months but we are getting into your routine and work and lifestyle and health um, as we progress into Leo season but what I really want to talk to you about Pisces is um, this is my second time recording your reading I tried to record your reading last night and I wound up deleting your video um, and it is gone so uh, this is my second attempt and I do feel like there's a huge metaphor within that experience that I had last night I just saw 222 on my clock so um, I feel that the reading represents like a, a storyline or something in your life a person place or thing like um, like a narrative or something um, like a, there's two timelines going on. I knew this would be hard to explain, but I know some of you are going to get it because basically there were you had two of something, and you went you went from having two of something to nothing. Um, and the reason why this happened is because there was no storage on my phone. I was rushing. Um, this there's also a significance with uh, putting others before yourself. So whatever this metaphor is, it's going to have a lot to do with that. The people pleasing and perhaps a relationship that you're putting before yourself, but. Um, I really feel like it happened for a reason. Something just, it didn't work out in July. You felt that you reached certain answers um, and before the end of it, you it was gone. Um, so again, you, you went from having two timelines to, to neither, to having a duplicate of something to, to not having either. So that might be significant to someone out there. So what I have chosen to do um, is I still have the cards um, and what happened first, Pisces, is my recordings, I looked up and my, my phone is running out of storage. So to be honest with you, whatever these two things are, people, places, narratives, timelines, you don't have room for either of them. So it's about clearing up room and slowing down and not rushing and making sure you're in the right headspace and letting go of whatever, whatever erased in July. That's what I think uh, the reading that I did for you last night represents. But I do remember the reading. I have it to the side here. And I remember what your energetic lineup was. So if it's all right with you, I'm going to reiterate that. That might even be a metaphor for someone out there. Since the old reading is a timeline, it represents a person or place or thing that didn't work out, that was deleted or erased or had to go, that you had to let go of. Instead of redoing your whole reading tonight, I have decided to, um, I remembered these cards and then I remembered the cards that came out with you. Basically 12 minutes and 32 seconds of your, of a reading that I did for you, Pisces. I didn't even get to finish your reading. I wasn't, I was only halfway done with it when the, my phone messed up. Um, so yeah, you know, we just got to let it go instead of, I guess I can't let go of the old timeline. So I'm, I'm sharing with you what it was and I'm going to reiterate it. So these are the cards that I remember for sure. 
and it's the moon card that is the card that I shuffle for and connect to with Pisces and when I did that last night this these were the messages okay there's just some kind of an extra message here for you Pisces that may help looking back on July it might help you now as you listen to this whenever that might be okay so um the queen of swords was the card right behind you Pisces okay Gemini Libra Aquarius energy that might be significant some of you may have Gemini Libra Aquarius energy in your charts um, to help you with this but very cold detached intellectual logical energy Pisces I do feel um, that some of you guys are kind of detaching right maybe because of fear or, or something like that but the Aquarius moon is coming up a lot with this combination this is Gemini and Libra as well so some of you may have and someone may have a Gemini Libra Aquarius moon to help them even further detach emotionally and intellectualize their feelings um, but if not there is an Aquarius full moon on August 11th um, around the middle of August or so that might be very significant and I know that it's significant because that moon is going to be in your 12th house, Pisces, and you are a 12th house in astrology. I will talk to you more about that in the August videos, um, but this is very much coming up, okay? Um, this doesn't have to be a female, although I do see this as female Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be air or feminine. It's really just meaning what you say, saying what you mean. It's very hard to manipulate the Queen of Swords. Uh, some people may think she's a bitch or kind of cold or iced over. So I do see, um, you know, especially looking back in July that, you know, you, you might have been more concerned with truthful conversation and clarity and facts. Okay, so you're moving forward with clarity. And yeah, we had the Eight of Cups after that, Pisces, which is even more of an emphasis on the moon, which I thought was really interesting. There's something here, maybe even the full moon in Capricorn, that the period between July uh, 13th and uh, August 11th, okay? So uh, some of you guys may be walking away from an individual, um, and some people may want to talk to you and clarify some things, or this may be you feeling this way, right? But this is going to be extremely important. You're going to receive a lot of clarity between now and August 11th when the moon is full in Aquarius is what I'm seeing. There are certain conversations, but something was missing, Pisces. You're going on a soul journey and kind of detaching. Some of you may be walking away from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Others of you guys, this just represents you walking away front with, with your clarity. You might have created your own clarity, but you want emotional fulfillment. Okay, and you're you're a little cold after walking away from a situation, and we have the four cups after that, which is cancer season energy. So throughout the duration of cancer season specifically, especially if you are, have walked away from someone, or this could be an individual who is walking away, coming towards you, offering you something, right? You're emotionally unavailable after you've walked away, Pisces. Something was missing. And I remember in the video last night, um, I shared with you how proud I was to see this energy because there's a story being told here of someone who has just walked away and detached from something emotionally. There's a lot of darkness um, and, and like escapism, like you escaped a situation, you're able to detach from it. And instead of jumping right into the next relationship to fill that void, you're actually taking time to evaluate what you feel. You're taking time, um, you know, there might be certain rejection that is felt here on your behalf or someone else's because of this. But someone here is just unemotionally available. They're detached. They're not necessarily as open emotionally as they are to just communicating and, and sorting things out, right? Things making sense because emotionally, there's, there's some disappointment here and sadness that someone has walked away from. And it could be you, Pisces, as a water sign. So these offers coming in, these love offers are either coming from those who have not yet detached or there are offers coming to you and you haven't detached yet from something you're in the process of emotionally distancing yourself from. So these cups, this this offer, whether it's love or whatever it is, um, it's just got you feeling kind of unsure. You need to reevaluate some things now that you've walked away. And you're not just taking the, the first offer that comes your way, right? You, you've, you're, you're focused on something here, perhaps a reconcil reconciliation or friendship or something else that you're thinking or feeling. Um, but yeah, you not, might not even be seeing uh, these opportunities and you may be missing opportunities until you create emotional distance. Um, but I think there was much more I said in, in the previous reading last night, but that's about it, Pisces. This is a story about someone who requires clarity. I also uh, feel this is a combination about a lot of secrets coming out. Some may have already come out um, with this combination, and I feel even more will come out between uh, now and the Aquarius full moon, okay? So that was your energetic lineup, Pisces. 
definitely some Aquarius energy. Now, what I've decided to do in these videos is go back week by week and pull cards to represent, you know, the first week of July, the second week of July. For the first week of July, Pisces, the cards that came out for you were the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So, um, and they came out together just like this. Lots of juggling, lots of conflict. There might even be two different areas in your life that you value that are undergoing some sort of struggle or diversity. Like you're, you're really struggling a lot here with um, something that needs to change and lots of different people expressing things. And this might have increased even in Leo season, all right? But you're basically juggling conflict here. Uh, you're having to weigh out the pros and cons. So looking back to the first week of July, there was a lot of tension that you were trying to juggle and balance out. You're doing a you were doing a good job swimming. I mean, imagining this energy as water and emotion that you were feeling at the beginning of July when we were in the smack dab in the middle of cancer season after a new moon, headed towards the Capricorn full moon. I mean, a lot going on. Okay, multiple priorities, multiple responsibilities, juggling and balance and all that. I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. And uh, there's not much emotion depicted here besides the water that is quite up and down behind this juggler. All right, so I just know, long story short, that there was a lot of conflicts and more than one thing causing you tension at the beginning of July. And I'm very proud of you guys for navigating through those waters. Um the that was the first through the seventh of July. Okay, I'm gonna clarify these cards. I have not had a chance to clarify them because my video stopped last night before I was able to do so. But the next card to represent the seventh through the fourteenth was the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, this is that maybe you were feeling that Leo season energy, uh, even though it didn't start until the twenty second of July. But confidence really important. Looking back here, Pisces, on the second week of July, the seventh through the fourteenth, the actions that you took, the things that you expressed, um, the leadership roles that you were playing. Aside from that, this is strength and bravery and courage. Uh, very attractive, but the Queen of Wands can sometimes play the role of a mistress. Okay, I don't know if this is you or uh, someone around you that is, is significant. Some of you may have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart, but I feel like this is confidence that was important. Especially because uh, the cards to represent the 14th to the 21st is the Five of Cups and the Seven of Wands. More emotional conflict here. Very similar vibe to the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Um, so, yeah, Pisces, this is right around the time when the video stopped recording. Um, so... This week, there was some emotional conflict. There was some depression, whether this is you or someone else. No wonder you needed confidence the week before this. Um, yeah, water under the bridge that is still conflicting your emotions. Something from the past. Um, this is disappointment, regret. Looking at something that didn't work out, those three cups, okay? And because of this, someone is quite defensive and having to stand up for themselves. Because of the emotional conflict, um, now you're protected during this Pisces. I've just recently realized that the Seven of Wands is a protection card. So please know whatever was going on the four, four, the 14th to the 21st, you were protected. Hopefully you stood up for yourself in whatever was emotionally conflicting you. I know there were some battles and defensiveness and maybe even some blocks going on, something that was blocking you, or maybe there was a certain opposition or haters or people that were trying to burst your bubble. I mean, you're already sad this week or somebody who already was, but hopefully you carried that confidence from the second week into the third week. It looks like you did. This is definitely Leo energy where you're standing up for yourself, protecting yourself. Um, and the bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles, which tells me that there was also a helping hand this week, something that was given to you, uh, unless you were the person who was in the middle in the fortunate position, because we have the fortunate and the less fortunate, the have and the have not. So we all wind up in different spots in life, right? A time when we need help, a time when we're able to, we're able to help others. So be careful of breadcrumbing energy from that week. But this overall is financial balance, what you were trying to achieve the first week, all that stress and conflict, you were able to get through it. You're a little tainted and wounded and hurt emotionally the third week of July, but you're not giving up. You're persevering, feeling that confidence, taking actions, defending yourself. And there is some kind of loan or debt or something that is paid off for someone here. So this is the part of the reading that I even don't know, Pisces. So let's figure out the rest of it together. And then we're going to clarify. So 
So let's see how Pisces ends July going into August. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, July 2022. The last 10 days of July, so the 21st to the 31st. Um, and we have the Four of Swords. So this week was pretty, um, there was a lot of recovery and healing. It's very important that you're resting the end of July going into August, especially because you've been through so much conflict and battles. So uh, prayer, meditation, sleep, Pisces rules sleep, dreams. Yeah, um, there's a lot that you need to overcome and heal from uh, that happened in July. You may need to take uh, four days to yourself to kind of just think and reflect. The first four days of August might be significant. Listen to some music, take a bath, but this is rest, recovery, and rejuvenation. Air sign energy. It's for your mind. It's for your body. It's for your soul. It's for your emotions. Um, but yeah, this is a mental foundation to heal from. Now, the bottom of the deck, Pisces, for your whole entire reading as an undertone is the Seven of Cups which is very July energy, lots of options, right? Lots of overwhelmed emotion, maybe even some confusion. This is uh, a card that is associated with you, Pisces. Um, so Leo season is here uh, with the sun. We have the Ace of Cups. So you do have an option here for new love and happiness. Some of you guys is maybe a child or someone younger, um, but I feel a new love is gonna be brought in um, after July 22nd in August 20th, between that time period, you definitely, it's up to you, all right? So there is this emphasis being placed on choice and options. We don't always have the luxury of sipping from every different person, place, or thing, an option of the life, the cups that life offer us, right? So be careful of staying in July and allowing yourself to stay in July energetically, stuck in the past and paralyzed without assessing your options. That's why you need to give yourself some time because you really have a lot of people, places, and things around you, Pisces. Um, some of these off offers or options are light. So they're filled with happiness and new love and fulfillment, you know, and there is a, a little bit of a need here to act quickly. Some of you may be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but yeah, very overwhelmed. A lot of different things that stirred your feelings up, huh, Fish? But it's okay. They're just choices. They're just, you know, they're just roads. They're just paths. But keep in mind that there's something in July that just didn't work out. And the key is, is if we're going to be able to let it go, right? And leap into a new direction. If we're going to be able to let a timeline go, I know you feel as if you reached certain answers in July and every you felt as if you were figuring everything out, Pisces. And then at some point before July ended, you realized, wait, like maybe new details came in or new situations became at play and you feel like you have to start over and let go. And that might be the best option. Or some of you may choose to hang on to the old timeline, person, place or thing, but you had two of something. There was ne room for neither. You went from having two of something to nothing, to neither. So let's clarify for Pisces. Why is the five of wands and the two of pentacles here for the first week of July? Tell me more about the conflict that was being juggled and the ups and downs, this roller coaster of conflict and tension. Yeah, the shadow side card. This is the devil. Some of you guys may have Capricorn energy in your chart or you may be dealing with someone. If not, this is talking about toxicity, codependence. So um, you value whatever you were juggling. These two people, places, or things, or all these priorities and responsibilities. Um, one of those things you actually feel bound to. There's a difference between juggling something at will and juggling something because you feel you have to. So there's a difference between responsibility and obligation as well. Uh, so I don't know uh, what's going on here, but there's some shadow side energy that needed to be faced. You guys were definitely dealing with conflict when it comes to the shadow side, right? Parts of you that need healed, parts of you that are afraid. We have the nine of swords. There could have been sleepless nights the first week of July, anxiety, worry, self-fulfilling prophecies. But I'm not going to lie to you. This is quite a dark realm that some of you guys were in um, doing some juggling here. Maybe this is, has to do with addiction or, uh, you know, anything that you want released from that you feel you can. It was causing you conflict, some tension, a lot of diversity. All right. So no wonder you needed confidence. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay. For some of you guys, this is a new love interest. We have the Page of Cups, which is you, Pisces, um, and the Three of Wands. So there was something about the three, the, the last three weeks of July. So from the 14th to the 31st, this is there's new beginnings in love, something that was expressed here. This is music and poetry and a very small love offer and beginning. For some of you guys, this could be someone who's at a distance or you're waiting on this. OK, you're waiting for your ships to come in. But at the same time, some of you guys are um, looking out and waiting for uh, something to end, a new beginning and an ending. There's quite a lot of pain here. 
Okay, so these are the actions that you were taking. This is why you needed confidence to express your emotions and wait for something to end before starting something new. Something you need came in that week as well. And we have the chariot. Cancer could have been in a significant zodiac sign or a vehicle, travel, lots of obstacles as well that you faced. The second week of July, Pisces, we have a card flipping over to tell me more. And it is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Gemini to me. So also, there was a lot of uh, like quick, irrational things that were said and done this week. Someone here by by the 14th of July may have like kind of like just rushed in and told you your truth or you did that, Pisces. Yeah, this was someone from the past. Someone came rushing in to express their love and apologies from the past, okay? Or this is just a soulmate, someone who feels familiar. Maybe even children could have been involved for some of you. But whatever was said or done or spoken, it required like immediate action. It could have been a little irrational, but that's almost the advice. There was something that you needed to do or say quickly. Um, whatever it was, it left you feeling a little emotionally conflicted and like you needed to protect and defend yourself the third week of July, the 14th to the 21st. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with this Five of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, Pisces, you are the Queen of Swords right now. Very cold, very detached. Um, there's a lot of communication here that was happening quickly the third week of July. Like, lots of communication. We have a Gemini here, a Libra Aquarius. Um, and we have the Death card. Transformation and change. But your resources mentally, Pisces. Like, you're here to communicate. You're open to communicate clearly. But you're not about to be manipulated or bullshitted or lied to. You're making very clear decisions as we get to the very final days of July. So let's see what's going on. I see that you're really, um, there's a maturity here. There's a magical essence here. Okay. Um, but you're getting really clear. I see you just kind of sitting alone and thinking for days. And there may not be something that's spoken. There is an individual here you haven't spoken to in a while that would like clarity immediately. So what's going on for Pisces uh, the last 10 days of July, the 21st to the 31st, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Why is this Four of Swords here? You need, a, you need to detach mentally and heal from something because there is something that I'm not really concerned about the emotion, although that sucks too, but you're a fish. I know you can do it. Not even really concerned about anything that has happened spiritually or karmically. You, you know that. But mentally, Pisces, this is what we need to pay the most attention to going into Ju to August what we think and what our truth is and detaching from what we feel emotionally to really just get the truth. So yeah, this is taking a while to come out of the deck. So there's a lot to heal from. There's a lot to take breaks from and recover. Okay, and now there's a card coming out and it's the seven of pentacles. So yeah, lots of waiting. The last week of July, last 10 days or so was a lot of waiting, pulling back to see if you invested in something that is actually growing or if it, you know, if your hard work didn't pay off, like what's the effort being put in here? You're taking a break from something that you put a lot of effort and investment in. A lot of time, energy, love, emotion. The bottom of the deck for this deck, Pisces, is the Three of Swords. So I know some of you guys are out there feeling heartbroken. There might be third parties. Yeah, look at this anxious heart. That's all going to balance out. Some of you may be dealing with Libra. Definitely something going on at work that's going to balance out. But yeah, Pisces, mentally, lots of loss of sleep. This is someone who's heartbroken and staying up until 9 a.m. or someone who has to wake up at 9 a.m. and didn't even get a lot of sleep. There's heartbreak on someone's mind here. This could be how someone feels about you, Pisces. But yeah, there's loss and anxiety and separation and really dark thoughts, but lots of options too. So just pull back as we go into August, especially the first seven days of August. Take time to heal. There's nothing wrong with that. You're very conflicted emotionally and there's a lot going on. So thanks for listening, Pisces. Sorry about the interruptions uh, that I faced in your reading, but I think it all meant something for us. Let me know if this resonated. Anything you need to know about this reading, even how to get a personal reading with me, that'll be in the description box below, okay? And if not, I will see you guys in August videos next time. Bye.